stable. So it is time. It is the anniversary of the Nike Air Max 1. If you're familiar with Nike and everything that is Nike, you'd know that the Air Max was a very big kind of like shoe for them. It was like a staple in their timeline of creations. And here is the celebration of the Air Max of bringing it back to you. Back to the OG version, I guess. Uh, available in two colorways at the moment. The University Red is what they're calling it is available now. And it's coming in a royal, I'll say a royal blue in about a week or so. But here is the shoe. Uh, talking about materials and everything like that, you have this really soft, it's probably the softest felt I've ever felt in, in forever. Wrapping around the shoe in the the main section, the midsole, all of that. But yeah, I, I actually can't get over how soft this actually really is. I guess, you know, years of making the same shoe, you kind of perfect your craft, which Nike is really good at doing. So that explains that. But the red is a, uh, I'm not sure if the university red is actually a color or maybe they just made it up, but you know, it's red. Uh, on this midsole, it's like a very toned down gray. like a gray you have this kind of like meshing in between certain areas here and on the shoelaces where well, you actually get a pair of like normal laces with it but the shoelaces that they're actually they come with have I want to say it has the silver threading going on almost like white and silver threading because it's not it almost matches the the mesh here in terms of it reflecting light and giving off this like not like a true white color, but you can tell that there's something else going on in there. But um, taking a look around the shoe, uh, of course you have the main section here. Same on the other side of the shoe. The sole, I'm liking this kind of, I mean, it's, it's a sole, so you're not gonna see it, but you have this, it's red, black, and white detailing with a Nike Air coming across the mid section there. And uh, it's white on the air bubbles on the inside. So. That is it. Out of the two, I think I actually would prefer being a bit biased because blue is my favorite color. I think I would go for the blue, but both of them are classics, of course. Uh, what you do get is, of course, you get some spare laces on the inside, which is like a normal white as opposed to this silver or white. If you don't, if you're not really feeling them and you get this Nike tag and that is the Air Max One Anniversary Edition, taking it back to the OG version, you know, I'm not sure if they've managed to get the OG toe box back because I always see people complaining about that. But um, yeah, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna take a look at the box as well because I just nearly forgot about that. Uh, so here it is. The Nike MX Anniversary Edition. Let's focus real quick. Thank you. Um, yeah here it is i mean i think the coolest detail that you do kind of get upon opening it is this kind of message about the history of the air max one uh, on march 26 1987 something more than she was born uh if you get it you'll read that because i'm not gonna read everything for you but yeah so if you manage to get the air max one when it did drop i know it did it was kind of weird. It did kind of sell out, but then come back. I guess that's, you know, reselling for you. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the shoe, what colorway you're looking forward to, and uh, if you managed to get a pair or you took an L. Thanks for watching, and I'll hit you guys up.